Hi there, Chris Kellett here with 123Muse and we're going to take a look at how you can use the Adobe Slate widget. Now, first of all, let's take a look at what Adobe Slate is. So this is um, essentially a device app and if we go down and this is the Adobe Slate page here, you can see the URL. Let's take a look at a story made with Slate. So we're going to click on here. And we can see this is currently bringing it up in an iframe. And you can see we have these really beautiful um, layouts here with parallax motion, screen uh, scroll effects motion. Now these weren't built in Muse, these were all built in the app, the app Slate. So let's take a look at that on a device. So here I am on my iPad. And if I open up, um, let's have a look at some of the projects that are on here. Let's take a look at one of these new ones. Uh, here we go. So this is loading up on the iPad now and we can see here again these gorgeous layouts and if we go and create our own, so in projects, we can see here that I'm putting together a project here with lots of different text and elements and we can change the style of the um, look and feel of this um, this particular story instantly. So it's a really great app. But how do we get this onto Adobe Muse? Because this is a really great way of allowing you or your clients to create these beautiful stories. And the great thing with this is, is the layout is done for you. So you drag and drop your images. I'll, I'll show you uh, an example here. Let's uh, go in and add a new, uh, let's say a, a new section here. We can add a photo grid and we can take uh, photos off uh, your iPad, off Creative Cloud or so on. Uh, let's have a look at these recently added. Uh, here's one with my cat and a spider. And we could add, uh, let's say, another one here and another one. Uh, let's add another one there. Done. And we can see that we've created this photo grid very quickly. So. You get the point. It's a really great app on your device and it creates these really gorgeous stories. Now let's take a look at how we can use the Adobe Slate widget from 123Muse to put that story onto your um, actual site. Let's go ahead and add this Adobe Slate widget to our site. So we're using our demo site here and we're going to put a new section in. So I'm going to zoom out and Let's let's switch the guides off for a minute, and we'll put it. Uh, let's put it just under this image section here. So let's shift that down, and then we are going to. I'm going to pop. I've got some text here that I've already created, and we'll pop that section in there. Let's just move that up. There we go, and move that into the center using the smart guides let's just make sure that that is actually in the center content area there we go and let's just move it up a little bit there we go now if we zoom back into our section here so this just says take a look at our new stories let's put the widget onto the page so this is our adobe slate widget installed into our library and we're going to switch on the guides here so that we can see where everything's going to be. Let's take a look at the options that we have for this widget. So we have the Slate article ID, that will be the individual article ID. I'll show you how to get, get that in a minute. The cover alt text, so that's for our SEO. Uh, the hover color, and then the opacity of that hover color, and then the icon start size, where it starts here and where it finishes in the middle. We're going to be using uh, this kind of styling so we can see how when we hover the uh, magnifying glass gets bigger the color changes that's exactly the same the effect that we have with this widget let's just preview that as it is so we can see here we have our widget when you hover over the magnifying glass um, gets bigger and the color sits over the top there semi transparent that works great. Click on it and it takes the user out to these full width articles, these beautiful articles created in Slate. Now, first of all, we want to now change the color to match our corporate colors. So we're going to change that and we're going to 
bring the opacity, let's say, to 0.8. Just want it slightly darker. And I want to reduce the size of this to maybe 30 there. There we go. Let's preview this now. So now, there we go. So that's more in line with our corporate design here on this page. And I'm just going to Command J, oh, sorry, Command Alt, just to replicate this a few times onto the page here. And then if we use our, if we use our alignment tool, we'll just do align to selection and then distribute them. So let's go ahead and grab some article IDs. Now, these articles are opening up in um, iframes, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to get them straight off the URL here. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, copy the link address here, and then if we just put some text down here, we can just grab the ID. And you can see here, at the end of this Adobe slate here, we've got an ID, and we'll go into the second one and we'll just pop it in there. And there you go, it's pulled in that story. Let's go and grab this one, uh, copy link address, and then we'll just paste it in, grab that ID, and we're ready to go. Ooh. Need to copy it into the right place, of course. So we have our three stories in place. I'm just going to shift them into, there we go. And let's zoom out and then move everything back up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now we have uh, these three articles in place. Let me switch the guides off. We have our three articles in place that will open up in a new window. And now when you publish from um, your device, to Adobe Slate, you will get a share ID and you'll get a proper URL. So you just want to look for that um, code at the end of the URL. If, if you remember, let's just go through that. Let's, sorry, let's just zoom in here. And let's just put this down again. Let's grab the copy link address here. So this is the URL that you will get from uh, Adobe Slate. And we can see it's slate.adobe.com forward slash A for article forward slash and then the ID number. So that's the ID that we're pasting in here. We want to change that text and any of the other settings as well. So it's a really straightforward widget for putting um, stories onto your site. Now, obviously, this isn't data driven. So this would be need to be updated by um, yourself through Muse. But you can see that there's a real power of these stories. The app Adobe Slate is a really awesome app to use and it's a really nice way of putting additional articles uh, that you can update and maintain onto your new site very easily and for free. Thanks for watching. <laughs>